What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know where to find me at. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform of over a million people now. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Super thankful to raise awareness for NPD, uh, get more people into therapy, like myself, four years strong, and also, uh, it's four years, not eight. <laughs> also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder so today's episode is going to be about future faking future faking for narcissists if you don't know what future faking is future faking is just narcissistic toxic people or just plain lying manipulating people just painting this elaborate elaborate picture of the future for you and future faking could come from parents it can come from kids it can come from brothers sisters aunts cousins uncles Husband, wife, whatever, the relationship dynamic, it changes, but future faking is still future faking. It's just like, that's how narcissistic people get you sucked in so fast. That's part of it. Not only do they clap your cheeks, they promise they're going to do it for a long time. To death do your part. To death do your part or the round of applause do your part. Whatever whatever parts you. Um, whatever comes first. So like I say, a lot of narcissistic people make these grand, grand promises of the future and everybody okay everybody's situation is going to be different when it comes to this future faking stuff my future my future faking for uh, if I was get divorced my future faking for one woman would be different than for another woman it's whatever fits you whatever future fits you and a lot of times the way we the way we future fake you is by literally y'all literally just telling you what you want to hear because you tell us everything that you want and need. You do. The survivor, the victim, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it nowadays, you tell us, you tell the narcissistic person in your life, the toxic person in your life, exactly what you are looking for. So it's easy to paint that picture. That you literally give us the br the brush, the canvas, the the colors, and everything. And I, I, literally a stencil outline of the future that you are looking for. And you wonder how we paint it so good. Like how in the world did you paint this Vincent Van Gogh of my future with you? How'd you do that? I'm like, look, you know, I'm, uh, I just, I love you. I care about you a lot, you know? And I just listened a lot and I know what you want. And this is the same, we just happen to want the same thing. It's not hard to paint a vision of the future for us when it's like the same thing that you want and I want. Like we're soulmates, literally. Future faking could be something as simple. I know having kids is not simple, y'all. This is not me saying having kids is simple. It could be simple, simple. It's something as simple as hey, promising you to marry you, marry you, and have kids. And that's the way they get you stuck because if they're not gonna make it, a lot of people have this. A lot of ugh, everybody plans for. The, I'm saying a lot of people. Everybody plans for the future. So if you if we are painting this grand scheme, this grand painting of the future with you. You get enthralled into that. You get sucked into it. And it's hard. To, the deeper you get into it, the harder it is for you to get out of it. And that's just point blank period how it goes right there. The deeper you get into the love bombing, the deeper you get, you get into the future faking, the deeper you get into it, the harder it is to let go. And they not only do they future fake you at the beginning, they also future like they also future fake you during, throughout the relationship dynamic. And depending on the relationship, let's say, and this is like, this is a, a situation I've encountered a lot when I'm talking to people, is the fact when people will literally like be dating, be dating narcissistic people and the narcissist is still married. That toxic person is still married, but they're, they're promising you they're going to get divorced soon. Hey, wait till the kids grow up. Hey, I got a young son. I need him to get a little older. He's just starting preschool. Let him get in kindergarten. Hey, I got a young daughter. She's like, my daughter, wait till my, my daughter is about to enter high school. This is her last year of high school. She's about to graduate. Let her graduate first. They painting pictures like when, when they graduate, when they walk across that stage, I'm walking across there with, I'm walking across that state. I'm graduating from this old marriage. And I'm graduating to come with you. I'm graduating to a life with you. That's the plan right there. That's the future. You see how good it looks? And it never happens. It's called future faking. It's like pump faking. I'm faking a shot. Like it doesn't mean, future faking means it's not going to happen. It sounds like it's gonna happen. It would be amazing for you if it happened. But future faking is faking the future, faking the funk, funk. F-U-N-K. I'm not cussing YouTube or Anchor or Apple Music. 
This is my southern drawl. Makes it hard to say that. The F U N K. Yeah, they gonna fake it out. So that stuff never happens. And, it, 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 and like I said, fut they future fake you more than once because, like, let's say I've, I'm married and whatever. I'm promising, hey, I'm gonna leave away. As soon as my daughter turns four, I'm leaving my wife for you and start a family with you, for you, together. We're gonna have our own kids and this, this, that. We're gonna have a nice house. We're gonna, uh, you know, have my kids over there. They be part of your family. Your kids be there. We be great. We gonna be great together. I promise you. Just give me some time. Give me some time. It's always, yeah, it's always give me time. It's always, that's what narcissistic people always say right there. Give me time. Because if they say, if you give me, if well, it is never a specific amount of time, it's just like, give me time. Give me time. Wait till she, after she graduates. How long after she graduates? Wait till after he starts school. How long till after they start school? You're not asking specific questions, so you're not getting specific answers. Because when you ask specific questions, they won't give you specific answers. They'll give you some vague after she graduates. I told you. Why are you rushing it? We're going to be together. Why are you rushing it? And you never end up together. And you end up wasting years and years of your time, years and years of your life, waiting on somebody to leave another relationship, waiting on somebody to quit a job, waiting on somebody to move across the country, waiting on somebody to, to move to another country, faking you out for a long time, years. I've seen this happen for years. I've seen people in, uh, in side pieces of relationships for t decades, literally decades. Future faking. Then you, when you finally decide that you want to leave, like oh, I'm done, I'm done. But what about the future we painted it together? You're gonna throw that oil painting away? You're gonna throw this Van Gogh away for what? Because you're ready to give up? You're ready to walk away? I guess I'm gonna give this future to somebody else. I'm gonna give this future. I'm gonna give this future to a rider, a real ride or die. I'm gonna give a few, this future to somebody who's gonna stick around through the tough times, and not just give up and tuck tail and run when it gets a little hard. When it gets a little hard, you run off. I don't want that in my life. I don't want anybody in my life who's gonna run off when it gets hard. I, you know, I have a future plan. I have a big plans for us and for you. And you're gonna run off on me. Blah 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 blah. Blue 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 blue. Beep 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 beep. You know how it goes. The robot, the narcissist, the robot, the Jezebel. They're casting a vision for you. And we as narcissistic people are good at casting visions. We are good at letting you know exactly how things are gonna go. You know what I mean? We're gonna have the white picket fence, and you're gonna have your Volvo. And I'm gonna have my Prius. And we're just gonna, we're gonna not only are we gonna live together in harmony, we're gonna be saving the environment because we're, we're both gonna have electric cars. We're gonna have tax. We're gonna have, look. We're gonna have, both have electric cars. We're both gonna get that tax credit. We're gonna save a lot of money together. And then look, there's this money we're gonna save for not paying taxes. We're gonna have. We're gonna use it to go on vacation. Mm. Imagine you in that bikini in Hawaii. Oh, I cannot wait to clap them cheeks in a in like in a hula skirt in a, in, a, in, a, in a luau. I can't wait to do that. The campfire roasted and I'm roasting them cheeks. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know I say some stupid stuff. It's like that's why I don't cut these videos. That's why I don't cut the podcast unless the battery dies. Like I keep it going because the, the stuff is gonna come out. It's gonna come out. That's why I keep. I have to keep it authentic with y'all because y'all, you know, y'all my peeps. Y'all helped me build this thing this far and helped me reach so many more people. And I'm thankful for y'all. I truly am. The future is gonna be great. Look, the future is going to be great for us. See what I just did there? I'm faking it out. The future's gonna be terrible for us, y'all. Terrible future. I'm just joking. But like, yeah, literally, future like. Set timelines, set deadline. How do we stop the future faking? Set deadlines. Be realistic. And if they're married to somebody else, leave them alone. This is just leave them alone. Just you, you have to wait till they get divorced. Like, what is the point where they still living together? They still in the same household. I'm, I'm sleeping in the basement. I'm, we don't sleep in the same bed. We separated. This is how you stop the future faking if they are still married. If they are seriously getting separated, it should be okay for you to talk to this the, the, the soon to be ex husband or ex wife too, shouldn't it? That should be that that should be accessible to you, shouldn't it? You know what I mean? I really feel like that part should be accessible to you. You should be able to say what you want to say and do what you. You should be able to go talk to that person, right? That's how you stop future faking on that end. Other ways that you can stop future faking. Is by setting deadlines, set timelines. Y'all get what, what you? It's your your time is just as important, or more. And your time is more important to you than it is to them. I trust me and believe me on that one. Set deadlines. Don't give them ten years to damn going string you along. Why? Why would you give somebody ten years to string you along? You don't deserve that. 
Set time, set, set deadlines and stick to them. If they don't hit the deadline, leave them alone. Find somebody else that doesn't have to give you, you don't have to put timetables on. Like, look, there's 8 billion people on this planet. 8 billion. You can do you. You can do better. You can. Like, dear God. You mean? Dear Lord, dear God. Like, take your power back. Stand in your strength. Set deadlines and st be strong because you have to. You literally have to because if you don't, you know what's on the other side? It's pain, boredom, suffering, and just a terrible, terrible life where you wasted. You're going to be sitting on, you're sitting in my comment section like, I wasted 10 years of my life waiting on him to leave his wife and he never left. And then everybody was like, look, that's what you get. And you're going to see people in the comment section come at you. Like, that's what you get. He was married. You just left him alone. There's your karma. There's a swoop in it. The karma came in and swooped in and took 10 years from you. Stop. Deadlines. Realistic goals. Stand to your and set some dang on boundaries, y'all. Set boundaries. Stop being scared to enforce boundaries. People who are scared to enforce boundaries, you're gonna get future faked to to the to the to, to but Jesus. To to but Jesus. Not not Jesus. But Jesus is Jesus' is like twin brother. Like that, you know, twin brother that didn't that grew up. In hell, I don't know. I messed it up. I'm gonna I'm 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 finish that but Jesus joke sooner or later. I'm gonna finish it. I can't start it. Sorry, that's a terrible joke, y'all. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Don't let them fake the future on you. Set your own goals, set your own timelines, and set boundaries and stick to the boundaries, please, for your own sake, for your kids' sake, for for future's sake. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I truly appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe for more mental illnesses out. Peace.